What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here and layers, ladies and gentlemen, layers. Like I keep telling you all, this Las Vegas UFO story has so many layers. It's almost as if there is a driving force behind the scene feeding us tidbits of new information and details every time we focus in on the last tidbit of information and details. In the beginning, this story was all about the UFO captured on the police body cam. And then it quickly shifted to aliens in this family's backyard. And then the aliens were tossed out the window and everyone wants to know about the surveillance cameras put up at the house. And now as we dig into that, and we're starting to get to the bottom of that. What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? It has now been revealed that 16 minutes worth of body cam footage was redacted from that night when the police showed up after the family called 911 because they saw 10 foot or 8 to 10 foot creatures in their backyard. Like I told you all from day one. When we watched that body cam footage and they claimed they couldn't show a certain portion of it because it was on private property. We, the public, we're allowed to view this body cam footage. The fact that they redacted 16 minutes worth of footage, I was thinking maybe it was one or two minutes tops. 16 minutes. You want to know what their excuse was? Their original excuse. I don't know what their excuse is going to be now. Their original excuse, like I said, was that, oh, the backyard is private property, so we can't show you that portion of the body cam footage, a.k.a. we can't show you footage from the backyard where this family allegedly saw something. Now, how does that make sense? The front yard is private property too, usually, right? Think about it. Not to be too blunt here, but I'm just going to keep it real. Day in and day out, we watch body cam footage of people getting their heads blown off and stuff. So you mean to tell me that we can't see body cam footage of you in someone's backyard because of aliens? Isn't it real convenient that you redacted 16 minutes with worth of footage from a 911 call about aliens? Meanwhile, we have to watch body cam footage of people losing their lives on a daily basis on social media. And we don't even ask for it. You're just scrolling through Twitter, Facebook, bam, body cam footage of someone getting killed. Meanwhile, we can't show you 16 minutes worth of footage of officers walking around a backyard where they supposedly find nothing. That's really weird. Now, I'm not here to tell you that there was something in that backyard and there was something caught on camera by that body cam footage. Maybe they did this on purpose because they want us speculating about this. In many ways, it looks like this story could be, could be being manipulated in order to make it blow up, but it's not being manipulated by the people who you think it's being manipulated by. The story is not being really manipulated by this family. It seems to me that this story is being manipulated by the media and by law enforcement, which makes it that much crazier. It makes it that much crazier. So the fact that the video and the audio is redacted. I don't know, maybe the officer said something. For all we know, maybe they found something in that backyard and they didn't want to show it. But then again, like I said, maybe it's nothing. But, they're, but they would obviously have to know when you're putting a story out there like this and then you redact footage for no apparent reason, it's going to cause people to speculate and come up with theories and you are better off just releasing the whole damn thing in the first place. But it seems as if someone had a vested interest in removing 16 minutes worth of footage. But I'll get into that more in just a moment. 
I want you all to watch this clip and then I'll be back with more thoughts. Before you tune in though, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment down below. And if you have a little extra time, share this video on social media. But without further ado, we're gonna roll the clip and then I'll be right back with more. Investigative journalist and former New York City police officer Doug Papa. He has been following this since the beginning and investigating this. Doug, the, the, um, the redacted and blacked out body cam video has a lot of people wound up because why would you do that? And the answer from the police was uh, the privacy of the home owner or at least the you know the renters i'm having a tough time with that because we've seen plenty of video before where that doesn't happen but i wanted to get your take about the rules of private property and releasing you know body cam that's redacted does it square good evening ashley nice to be back with you i want to clarify something i'm not a former uh, new york city police officer i was on the the auxiliary police not on the regular police department before i went into the military police i was a police officer in virginia so um yes my sources are telling me from Metro that they cannot understand this because when they released the body cam video from nine from excuse me from the October 17th massacre, um, 2017 massacre, what they do is if there's something that they don't want you to see, they'll blur it out. But there is no reason why they couldn't have blurred out whatever they don't want you to see. Say if there was something in the back of the family's yard that the family didn't want to be seen, the audio would have still should have been running. In this case, everything is blocked out. So we don't know the conversation between the police officer in the backyard and Angel. We don't know what they were looking at. Angel's uh, the young man. So I want to be clear to for point. our audience. He's the young teenager who called 911 and, and, you know, was the primary observer, witness of this, although other members of his family said they saw it too. Why do you suppose then that the Las Vegas Metro Police did that redacted 16 full minutes went to complete silence and black for 16 minutes and do you think they'll reverse course to just try to put an end to all the speculation well obviously it's redacted both on audio and video because there's obviously something they don't want us to see and something to hear now my sources told me that immediately after this incident a las vegas metro police bomb, uh, police department detective who uh, he's, he's works with the gangs or something. He's an IT expert. My sources said he was immediately called in. And the speculation is that something was either deleted or changed in the record system, whether it was a body camera or a dispatch system. We don't know because he's not even talking to his friends. I got his name, but I'm not going to mention it. So that came from reliable sources within Metro. So as we peel back another layer Let's all acknowledge here that no matter how many layers we continue to pull back, this story still doesn't make sense and things are still not adding up. And you want to know what's really crazy? Out of all of the information we've gotten out of this case, at this point, the family seeing 10-foot aliens in their backyard is almost the most believable part of this story. And I'm not even someone that necessarily believes that they saw that. I believe they think they saw something. But for the love of all things holy here, people, lie after lie after lie. How many lies do we have to catch up the mainstream media in and law enforcement in? They've lied about the surveillance cameras. They've lied about the Department of Homeland Security existing in Las Vegas. They've lied about, or supposedly they've lied about returning to this home because they still claim that they haven't. But they had to have, or someone pretending to be them has. And now we got this 16 minutes worth of footage, and who knows what is within that footage. And then you got the mainstream media who lied for days on end saying this family disappeared only for two or three days later after they get called out, they actually tried to interview the family. So I know a lot of people are focusing their energy on the family and they're blaming the family for everything, but the family has had no control over how this story has spiraled. And... I'm having a hard time, you know, going over all of the possibilities because 
there are tons of possibilities here. And I don't know if I should be feeling bad for this family or if this family is just part of something bigger than we can really understand right now. You know what I mean? Because I believe that this family feels like they saw something and experienced something that night. But the crazier and crazier this story gets, and not because of them, but because of the, you know, the surveillance cameras, the redacted footage, the you name it, I'm starting to wonder, are they part of a, a bigger scheme? Not a hoax, but a, a bigger scheme, if you will. Because it doesn't make sense to me why the mainstream media has pulled what it's pulled. And, you know, I don't trust the mainstream media. I never have. But I understand the mainstream media's agenda usually. I do not understand what their agenda would be behind lying about this family going missing. And then when it comes to law enforcement, the whole, it, it, none of it makes sense. It, it's just none of it makes sense. And all of it points towards, if, if things don't add up and things aren't making sense, then it points towards the fact that there's something unexplained going on, right? And I think that wherever you're at on this story, if you've been really following up with the details that I've provided, it shows you that there's something here. What that something is, I still don't know. And that's the most frustrating part of this story is that we can't get reliable information from anyone. And, you know, the information we're getting from the family, it sounds so unbelievable, unbelievable um, to people that they don't want to rely on that information. But then again, if anything could happen, if anything could happen to back up this family's claims, I would say it's happening right now before our eyes. The fact that there's so much madness swirling around the story for no reason. I think that this all could have been over and done with. But they wanted to release the body cam. They wanted to blow this story up. And now that we're poking holes in it and we're exposing certain things, they're starting to backtrack. They're starting to release conflicting information. And hey, I'm just going to keep on it until we get down to the bottom of what happened here. Maybe we, we never will. I'm hoping we will. But at the very least, it's fun for me watching how the media and the powers that be behind the story, watching how they react as we keep pressing forward and we keep applying pressure on this story and not pressure on the family, but pressure on law enforcement and the media and whoever else is involved in this to be truthful and honest about what happened here. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts, your honest and truthful thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.